Chapter 26, Cosmology. Cosmology is the knowledge of how the cosmos or the universe was created. Our universe was created by our ancestors many trillions of years ago. One billion, eight million ancestors came from the previous universe and created the present one. At the end of every universe, these same one billion, eight million original people form a new earth using the stars of the old universe as atoms and become its first inhabitants. Then they create new stars and planets around the first earth to complete the creation. At the end of the previous universe, all of the people in the universe were in an expanded state of mind called divine unity. They were all united in mind and heart as one person. This one person is called God. Although there are many individuals in div divine unity, they nonetheless know themselves only as one. Each person knows him and herself as the one and only God without losing his and her sense of individuality. He and she is also aware that every other person is the same God because they are all united as one. That is a state of mind that the ancestors call heaven or eternity. And so heaven is not a place, but the state of mind described. It comes about as the end result of taking part in the various rituals of initiation. At the end of the universe, every person that has ever lived has taken part in all the rituals, especially the seven great rituals of the black nation. And this state of mind becomes permanent in every individual. At that point, the judges declare that the universe has attained its purpose and it comes to an end. When each and every individual in the universe enters this state of mind at the same time, the mind naturally expands. This expansion is so great that the mind not only encompasses the entire universe and everything in it, but it exceeds the universe boundaries by an immeasurable extent. God becomes so much greater than the universe that the entire universal sphere is, so to speak, held in the palm of his hand. And so God totally outgrows the universe. This brings about the necessity for a new and much larger universe where God can continue the experience of life. The newly expanded mind of God creates new space that extends far, far beyond the boundaries of the old universe. A new boundary of the universe is then set. It exceeds the old one by the same proportion that the whole universe exceeds the earth in size, and God's mind fills the new space right to its limits. So large is the expanded mind of the united people that the old universe can be seen far below as an object the size of the earth. It becomes the first earth of the new universe. The original people then descend upon this new earth in 1 billion, 8 million new bodies. Their new bodies are made instantly the very moment they decide to descend upon the new earth. They are made of the seven substances of the new earth, which are magnetism, electricity, light, ether, gases, liquids, and solid matter. The fourth substance, ether, which is the pure blackness called space, is the central substance of the universe. It's the womb that contains the six other substances in itself. When the original people created bodies for themselves, their bodies take the color of the ether, black, which contains all colors in itself. Therefore, God naturally has a black skin color. The new earth is called the first earth and its inhabitants are called the first gods. The first earth sits alone in space in utter, complete darkness. The billion, eight million gods are able to see directly by the power of their minds. They are still united with all things and see them by being them. Mind sight or inner vision is different than eyesight. The mind recognizes all external objects as a part of itself and thus sees them with a self-generated inner light. The illumination that comes from this type of seeing is glorious beyond description. Its brightness and vividness are unimaginably beautiful. 
It is second only to the pure light of eternity in its magnificence. The perfect plants and animals of the first earth called the original totems of life come into existence instantly as well, the very moment the gods appear on the first earth. They issue forth spontaneously from the 144,000 aspects of their perfect character. For many billions of years, they are the only plants and animals on earth. The rest of the evolutionary species develop from them after the sun has been created. The first earth is the center of the universe. It becomes the central place or hub from which the rest of the universe is created. <laughs>